how to set up the new EOS webcam tool to make your camera a live camera. Let me show you. Now, the main thing you need to note with this new software is it's only going to give you 1280 by 720p video. You'll have black bars along the side, so it's a square format as opposed to a widescreen, depending on the camera you're using, because it's basically giving the camera display feed through USB to your computer to use as a webcam. So it's not going to be high quality, it's not going to be 60p, none of that business. So that's a limitation of that. So keeping that in mind, I'll show you the rest of the steps. Today, I'm going to show you if the new Canon EOS webcam utility tool version one, they basically updated it. I did a little video about the news, but now I'm going to go and test it. Will it still work with old cameras? To support this video, I've got a link in the description to my mailing list. Make sure to sign up to that and you'll get an instant email with help sheets, guides and frequently asked questions which will help you get through this journey. But I'm not going to do it on my main PC that I always use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on my laptop. So I have two laptops I'm going to check in on. One is an old ThinkPad IBM machine. It's like a vintage you could say. It's an i5 so it's a decent machine and I've also got a HP which is the HP Elite Book. It's an old business laptop we picked off eBay. We got a good deal on it. And that's an i7. So the 5D Mark II is not a listed camera on their website. You will need a cable. The cable you need is a USB on one side and a mini USB on the other. Mini is like slightly a bit bigger than the micro, which is normally used for Android phones. So you plug one end into the camera. there and the other end will go into the laptop and once that's plugged in the software will recognize it you go to your choice of software and you kick off the camera i'll show you that now we'll see what it works like i've got two laptops i'm going to test it with i'm testing it on a camera which is an old camera which is not listed on the website 5d mark ii and a t2i so we'll see what happens so let me take you through the steps and we'll see how it works they've got a couple of steps here select your model of camera select the driver select the software download it but there's an extra step which didn't wasn't there before so here's the cameras listed uh, i'll put a link in the description to this site so you can go and check it out because it's going to be handy for you to see if your camera's on there before i used the t6i one i'll show you that in a second so recently added cameras are the red dots which is a number of these t3 sl1 r6 r5 60D, 70D, 60, 70. I won't bore you with the list. So if I go back to my T6i version, which I downloaded before, you know what? I might do this live. Okay, I'll get a pop up. Uh, feedback is important. I'll do that in a second. I'll move that over to the left hand side. So here you'll see in the list, I've basically gone T6i, drivers and downloads. Click on that. It'll bring you to a page here. Yeah, I'm on Windows 10 64 bit. That's right. And here I have Canon EOS Utility 1.0 Windows. If you remember before, it was a beta. It's the same size, slight difference. If I select that, now I have to go through registration process. Whereas before it was just quick download. So now you'll have to put your name, your email address in, uh, opt in or out. And okay, so continuing on with that, I've filled out my information and now it gives me a how to download and install guide and the WinZip file. Whereas before it was not a WinZip file. I'm downloading the T6i version for my T2i. Download, let's see what happens. Save file. Let's put it in. Let's put it in my working folder. So if I put it in D working, save a copy of it. Okay, click the down arrow. Yeah, yeah, it's just standard stuff in it. So let's just bring that up. It's going to be a, a WinZip file that looks like this. Interesting. There's a README file. There's a few more. To install the EOS utility, please run the Setup X file present in the installation folder to uninstall the application. Okay, what you will need to do is uninstall the old one. Have I got a copy of the old one? I think I saved a copy. Providing you've saved a copy of the old one, you should be fine. Copy off there. Stick it over here. Let's see if it works on this computer. You open the setup and you run it basically in English. And next, setup next. I accept the terms next. 
see programs install yes and here it says it closed prematurely oh okay installed finish oh beautiful okay so moral of the story it did not work on my other laptop it should have okay no problem so now the cables you will need is a mini usb to a usb so let me just plug that in you should be able to see all of this okay so the usb is just been plugged in there the other end goes into your camera so I remember the 5D is over here, it's basically the mini, so it goes in like that. And then we turn the camera on. It says no card, but it makes a noise on the computer. Canon EOS Mark II. Now, let me see if I can use it on some of the software. Should I? Should I've got OBS on here. I have OBS on here. Why am I not recording this on OBS? One minute, let me rack up OBS. Be an extreme test. Well, you could probably see the screen there. Kind of does it work does it work oh the camera snapped you heard that so that's basically what should happen yeah, let's close that just check the settings on the bottom skype is open so let's just close skype boy quit skype that's the taskbar let's do a add camera source uh, video capture device add source action cam noise add a new one okay add source and then let's do a canon eos webcam utility select from the drop down oh okay mm -hmm. okay done it twice oh beautiful so device default let's do custom can we do custom this is for the resolution I want it to be a 1080p now nah, it's going to be 1280 by 720 okay but it does work to do a device default every time you change the setting in obs you'll hear that noise i'm glad i did this on the laptop so i don't have to okay, let's see what this feed looks like because i can record this on this zoom all the way out let's make sure i look presentable let's do a record okay so i'm recording on just you over here mates how do i look am i in focus okay so that is a look at the new canon eos version one webcam tool i installed the five no i i downloaded the t6i one but the camera i'm using is a 5d mark ii all of them are the same which is weird I've got black bars on the side, which I don't like, but ultimately it's a nice little setup, mate. So it should still work on old cameras. Proven because it's a 5D Mark II, which is not listed. Okay, let me stop that. Okay, so on the HP, we were able to install it correctly. It worked. I tested it on OBS and everything seemed fine and dandy. It's a bit more sleek now versus the old beta. Um, but we'll go and check out a few more cameras, I think. But if you have any problems, let me know in the comments what you're suffering with or what the issue is. We'll see if we can sort it out. But it's good news. We can still use old cameras even with the updated software, even though it's not listed on the website. Something else to note is all the softwares that they offer for each different version, it's actually the same software. Looking at the details, the size of the file, when you install it, how it looks and the versions, the numbers are the same. So I don't know why they've split them out separately. There must be some thinking behind that. But obviously they're developers, they know better. But based on visually what we could see, file sizes are the same. So does it matter which version you get? Because I use the T6 version on my 5D Mark II figure. Playlist here, check that out and I'll see you on my next video.